with meteorologist Chad Evans, certified by the National Weather Association. Weather from where you live. Well, it's a nice mild night tonight after a pretty cool weekend around here, but there is a cold front off to the west. It's right here, but all the moisture and dynamics with it to produce severe weather are up here. So we're not going to get any severe weather, and we'll be lucky to get any rain out of this. The front is right here, and as this swings through early tomorrow morning, it will bring nothing more than some clouds and perhaps a sprinkle or a very isolated shower. This is South Texas, northern Mexico, Rio Grande nearby. This is Hermine, borderline hurricane. This is a tornado watch and there's the eye of the storm. This will have an effect on our weather. It's going to move up into Oklahoma and parts of the Corn Belt. We've got deep tropical moisture coming off of Baja, California. This is what is left of Hurricane Frank in the Pacific and a pretty strong tropical wave moving into Florida. So like I always say, if you're going to get a really good soaking rain during this time of year in our area, it's going to come from the tropics and that's exactly what we've got in this forecast. But in the meantime though, let's kind of Go through the outline, what we're going to talk about tonight in Maine weather. First of all, tomorrow will be a windy day, nothing more than that little isolated sprinkle or shower in the morning, a lot of sunshine, but an elevated fire danger. Even with the rain we've had recently, it's dried out very quickly. And in our southeastern counties, as you head down towards Indianapolis and Kirkland and Crawfordsville, it is extremely dry. So with a very dry air in place and a wind, We'll have that elevated fire danger, warm days and cool nights this week. And then later on this week, by right around Friday, Saturday, that's when most of the rain will arrive. And some of that rain may affect the Purdue game on Saturday with a cold front and a lot of tropical remnants coming up from the south. But mild now, temperature 70 to 72 area wide, winds out of the south and southwest. Headed for overnight lows around 65. And tomorrow, again, we'll get that cold front through during the morning and then a pretty nice afternoon, mostly sunny. Windy, but very low humidity. Winds are going to be blowing off the Great Plains and Rockies, and they're going to move from higher elevation to lower elevation into the Corn Belt. And when you do that with air, it compresses, it warms, and it dries out. So desert dryness tomorrow. The humidity down around 20%, maybe even 15%. And strong winds out of the west and southwest. Notice those highs, 82 to about 87 degrees. And tomorrow night, will cool off pretty rapidly. Upper 40s, Morocco, Winnemac, and Francisville to 54 in Lafayette and Frankfurt, and 53 at Pine Village, about 52 over at Delphi and Camden. So, future cast, really not depicting much in the way of rainfall on the front. You get an idea, though, this is 8 a.m. Right there's the front. You see some of the clouds, maybe a sprinkle, isolated shower. Otherwise, a mostly sunny, windy, and dry afternoon with that elevated fire danger. But some good soaking rain could be in this forecast. There's tomorrow at 86. Windy conditions were great on Wednesday at 80. A little cool Wednesday night, but these are the remnants of Hermine and also Frank. Very deep tropical moisture coming into the plains. So breezy Thursday. The humidity surges through the roof on Friday. Friday about 80, 84. Humid showers and storms. Saturday, this could be a pretty rainy day with highs in the mid-70s. Uh, winds out of the south and southeast for the Purdue game. We'll keep an eye on that. And then the rain ends on Sunday. So a 50-50 weekend forecast for next weekend. Wet on Saturday, good looking on Sunday. Increasing clouds. Again, that cold front comes through later on tonight. Down to 64, 86 tomorrow. Becoming mostly sunny and windy. Very dry, compressional heating. Uh, air mass tomorrow with low dew points. So that fire danger, 80 on Wednesday. And then here come the tropical rains, Friday, Saturday, and very early on Sunday. If it is a rainy day Saturday, Sunday will be.